What was the icebreaker? <laughs> icebreaker question. Don't, no, don't roll. One of the fundamental messages, and it's probably more subtle than you would ordinarily be able to pick up on, that exists in Captain Planet is that there are these, these five kids that represent different elements of the Earth. And, that when, and they are out there fighting ecological villains. But whenever they come into a situation that is larger than they feel like they can handle, they pool their resources they get together and they create this synthesis being Captain Planet that comes in and he's really the superhero. So it's, it's not, I'm not a superhero. It's like I have my own individual contribution and when I put that together with, with his and with hers, then we have something that is larger than, than myself. I mean, the message in Captain Planet is the power is yours. Every single child, every single person has an opportunity to impact the world that we live on. Here we have a television show that actually empowers children to be socially responsible with some consciousness, with some responsibility. You can really touch the minds of children in a very profound way. That was a very was good nice. question. That Thank was a good you. Answer. <laughs> like More than from educators, I get feedback from kids in terms of what they would like uh, to see more of on television. Um, and Surprisingly enough, it's more programs like Captain Planet, more programs like Reading Rainbow that, that really challenge them to interact with the world they live in. The kids in watching Captain Planet will get ideas of how they can then go out and be socially responsible in their own communities, be it the home, the school environment, the neighborhood at large, the frame of reference for the child expands, but there's also a give and take in the community. There are people in the community that are going to benefit from whatever service project the, you know, the, the kids are involved in. It's what Captain Planet says all the time, the power is yours. You can make a difference, individually or collectively, but you have to take action. Sitting still and doing nothing won't get the job done. You have to take action, and the power really is in your hands. Don't